welcome to our children's bedtime stories video. Our bedtime story for this evening is called The Hiking Viking. This is the story of a young Viking who finds himself not being interested in, th in the things that the other Vikings are interested in. Some of them like to bra, some of them like long pointy spears, but this Viking likes to hike. So this is the story on how he navigates his differences with the other Vikings. From the moment he was born, Leif was different. The other Vikings liked to battle and brawl, Leif didn't. The other Vikings liked to holler and howl, Leif didn't. And when all his friends wanted spears and axes for their birthdays, Leif asked for a hiking stick instead. Every morning, Leif headed for the hills, atop the fjord, in the place he treasured most. Leif could see for miles and miles. It was beautiful, it was quiet, it was peaceful. But somebody always turned up to drag Leif back to the village. Come with me, Mama said, it's time for wrestling. Come with me, Papa said, it's time for spear throwing. Come with me, Leif's big sister Ingrid said. We need to practice lifting heavy stones for the Viking games. Over and over, Leif tried to explain why he loved being up in the hills, but his family didn't get it. As the Viking games got closer and closer, Leif's family kept him busier and busier. Leif couldn't escape from the village for even a minute. The honor of our clan is at stake, Leif's papa lectured. If we don't win the Viking games, Bajoran and his clan will think we are weak, Leif's mama lectured. We'll try to take over our land. It's time for you to stop wandering the hills and grow up, Ingrid lectured. Leif's heart was at the top of the fjord, but he tried his best to join the rest of the village in preparing for the games. When the big day arrived, Leif wrestled. He threw a spear with all his might, and he lifted the heaviest stone he could manage. At the end of the afternoon, the score was tied. The clan that can show us the greatest treasure by sunset will be the winner, the head judge declared. As the rest of his clan raced to bring the treasures they had collected on their travels, Leif stared down at his hiking boots. I should have practiced more, he whispered. We might lose the Viking games because of me. At the end of the day, the judges examined the treasure hoards of both clans. The score is very close, the head judge stated at last, but the winning clan is, wait, Leif said, I have a greater treasure for you. Is it silver, one judge asked? Is it gold, another judge asked? Yes, Leif said, come with me. The judges followed Leif. Confused, Leif's family and the rest of their clan followed the judges. Stand here, Leif told everyone. Now you can see our greatest treasure. As the sun dropped from the sky, the stone cliffs gleamed like polished silver. The water below glittered with gold. For a long time, nobody said a word, but Leif could tell by the looks on their faces that his family finally understood. It was beautiful, it was quiet, and it was peaceful, at least for a little while. You, Leif, your clan wins the Viking games. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story, a story about standing out from others and enjoying nature. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next week for a new bedtime story.